Hey, Brian, thanks for linking up. I appreciate it. Um, I make these little videos for athletes. Just it's easier than trying to screenshot everything and send you a long email. So feel free to reply back with questions. Um, I realize that you just have been started using this power meter in February. So there's not a ton of data, but let's get a baseline of where you're at and then kind of create a roadmap of where you want to take this thing with your cycling and touch base again in a few weeks as you continue to collect more data. And as you see, as we get into this, um, some of the numbers and everything will, the durations that you've written probably will be missing because like everyone hasn't gone out and maxed out on sprint efforts over and over again because it's February. Um, so just taking a real brief look here, I'm always like to just look in and see like what types of riding are you doing duration wise to show how much train you can do. The fact that you've done 12 hours in a week is incredible. That is a ton of riding. You can get super fast off that. Um, really, I've got business professionals that were at the nitty gritty of about five hours a week. They still make gains. They're obviously not going and training to peak for a four hour road race or gravel race. Um, but there's definitely ways to help them participate in cat three through five at well, any crit um, and cat three through five, you know, shorter road races, circuit races, gravel events, gram fondos, things like that. So jumping in real quick, thanks for sending over your weight. Um, this is basically the watts per kilogram chart, which benchmarks yourself against other categories. And it is just a baseline. Um, and as I was saying, so you'd always usually look at the last 90 days, you can get more granular and look at the last 30 days, but you probably haven't done a ton in this area up to two minutes because it's so early in the season. But this is awesome to see that you've been doing, uh, you've got cat three watts for five minutes, five min three to eight minutes, that's bike racing, right? That's VO2 maxing and going really hard, excuse me. Um, and this is really good to see too. You've got some longer efforts, some sustained power that you've done for like an hour, over an hour and a half. Most people, their their um, line sort of drops off here, and that's just because they don't go long enough. And some people, you know, the twenty minute interval is so popular. Um, some people don't ever really make it past half an hour. So another basic thing that I like to look at is looking at this power duration curve where yellow is your max average watts for the duration on the x-axis and the red is the theoretical what you could do with the computer things. Now, this is probably off a little bit because you haven't done any of these short efforts. Um, so we would want to look at this again. Obviously, you've been cranking out some five-minute stuff and it doesn't think that you can do that much because... You still you you've got a lot of room to grow here, which is awesome that you're you've got five minute power that's really good for um I actually don't know what category you are, but at a cat three level is good. Um and then you can definitely work this out to an hour. Man, you've got so much room to grow, it's awesome. Um and then one thing that we can get into here. So it's always good to compare yourself against your peers, the people that you'll be racing against on the watts per kilogram chart. Um, then we would take a look again at like basing yourself against yourself, the theoretical values. Um, you can find those holes of where you want to be training. And like if we went back where the yellow is below the red, and then you want to really start thinking about as the race season comes in. So like these would be the holes. Um, what is event specific? So what holes, if you had a, you know, first I'd probably have you cut this in half. Let's try and do like a 20 minute interval. See what that changes here. Then we do maybe a 35 minute one. See what that changes here. And then we'd go out farther. Um, we're also working the edges of the, the hole there. Uh, so what is the main event and what are the rigors of that event so if someone has you know if they're going into like do mount mitchell let's say and they've got an hour climb obviously you know it's gonna be an hour effort that you need to to do really well at but if you look at races specifically you can try and tease out like where do things really go down um you obviously can't predict every little thing but if you know that there's a 10 minute climb um this would be an area to work for sure because it's not a strong point right now against yourself as well as against your peers wattage so let's move my face here um you know i'm gonna go back over here 
do, do, do. Let's take a look. Sorry, I'm a little... Coffee hasn't hit yet all the way. <laughs> Bad excuse. Um, the one thing you want to be careful of, and I don't mean... Uh, you might already know this. So the purple is your acute training load. That's your past six days of fitness, of, well, work. And then the blue is your chronic training load, quote-unquote, your fitness. You want to make sure that when you rest... This purple line goes below the blue line. So you don't want to have it go more than really three weeks like this. Um, it's a good build and you're, you're getting some good fatigue in there. But you want to come up for air and let your body recover. So have an easy rest week um, in the next probably week or so. Um, and, you know, maybe even now because we don't know what you've been doing before this. So you could be making yourself super tired. Um, and if you want to, read more about how everyone thinks that this CTL line is their fitness, uh, check out our website and go to the blog and you can read this one about one massive reason why obsessing over your CTL can really ruin your race season. This is not race fitness. This is not race readiness. Everyone has this metric in their head and uh, they're not always doing it right. Check that out. So then last thing, I'm just curious what um, what you've been doing here. What's a Tuesday ride looking like? So, I mean, these are, what are these? How long are these? 33 to... So these are less than a minute. These are really just right. Eh, they're a little bit above threshold. These are too short and this is too easy. Um, I get it that you're warming up, but you want this line like top of the blue. That's a just very short little tempo effort. Maybe these were, were like openers, um, but on a Tuesday, you wouldn't be doing openers for a day off on Wednesday. So be curious what that is. Um, that's really hard. And I set your FTP at 274 because um, that's what the computer has. It's probably not 100% accurate because of the fact that your curve is not all the way filled out with all of the numbers. Super smashy group ride, maybe. I bet that would be a group ride. That looks very group ride-ish. Um, you know, you got make sure you're working some endurance stuff. Um, some consistent pedaling. No power meter. You must have been on a different bike. So yeah, man, you got a ton of room to grow. Um, keep getting the data. Then we can come back and look at these curves again and go from there. Hit me up with any questions. Thanks, man.